Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic with me, Magix, and in this episode we are trying to steal the Ebonhawk to finally leave the planet Terrors. So stay tuned and let's go! So, let's continue our adventure through um, Devik's estate, that was his name, to uh, yeah, try to leave this damn place and the planet and everything within. Well, let's check out these rooms maybe first, but they are security locked. And this is another standard door, so... Here is the slave quarter. Well, let's try to grab the footlocker first. Get some items, and yeah, let's try Welcome to talk. Welcome to the slave quarters, master. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. <laughs> now this is my <laughs> kind of place. Would you like a relaxing massage? Whatever your desire. We are here to serve. Well, I don't have time for this right now. I uh, need information. But what could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room on pain of torture and death. <laughs> Let's use the... Uh... Yeah. Praise from the guest is a valuable commodity here. Davik rewards the slaves who perform their duties well. I will tell you what I know. Davik okay. rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear from Davik's guests. Recently, they've all been talking about poor Hudro. He oh, was Hudro. caught trying to steal some spice from the lab. Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Even Hawk. But since the Sith have grounded every ship on the planet, Hudro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Davik's torture chambers. Uh -huh. Where is this torture chamber? I think you can get there through the hall behind the west door of Davik's throne room. Just keep going west from the slave quarters and you'll see the throne room. But Davik's certain to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. Please, I don't know anything else. Okay, can we take the message now? <laughs> As you wish, Master. You will find this most relaxing. Oh, typically male. Is it possible for you to keep in mind that we have more pressing business to attend to? <laughs> I trust you are satisfied with the service. I have received many compliments on my skills from previous clients. Yeah, it was fulfilling. Uh... Thank you, kind sir. I hope you will express your... Yeah, okay. Uh... Okay, are we going now? Of course. That's good. Okay. Welcome to the slave court. <laughs> Would you? So I guess they are all talking at the same. So. Of course. Okay, let's continue. Get our massage. So we are stronger now, right? And some security doors here. Well, they seem to be locked. Whereas our. Yeah. Can you open this? No. And we can't uh, choose other party members What's right now, idea? so I guess... Well, only one choice. Let's break the door. Uh, <laughs> it was, it's the wrong room, but uh, time to die, bug face. Uh, <laughs> Answer my questions or I carve my initials in your skull with my blaster bolts. Well, Rodian, you have made the wrong decision. Come on, guys, hit him. He's fodder. Should have been more friendly to us. Well, let's try out the next door. Oh, there is a guard. So, the battle begins. We wanted to bust out anyway, so. 
That droid exploded quickly. Let's bash the next security door. Wonder how you can bash in a door with some uh, salt sticks, but well. Seems to work after a while. And there are some footlockers in here. And they are also locked. Can we open them? No. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, uh, this doesn't work so well. Fortunate, but both are uh, kind of locked. Where's Bastila? Maybe the lightsaber works? Yeah, this works a little bit better. So you can bash in a door with your sticks, but... Uh, not a footlocker. <laughs> that seems better protected. Let's get the items. Let's try out the next chest. And some puzzle cards and credits and a data pad. What? Check out the data pad, maybe. Let's see. Uh, data pad. Where are you? We can't uh, order this inventory, unfortunately. We can show all new items. Well, there's a lot of new things. This seems to be an activity lock. The power conduit we installed in the elevator seems to have solved the uh, shield outage problem on the droid. This is not the data pad for uh, this. Uh, records of Kalo Nord's trophy kills. So this seems to be Kalo Nord's room, actually. Of a recent Rancor hunt. What the Rancor lacked in intelligent it, intelligence, it made up for in size, strength, and ferocity. Conventional blasters were all but useless against its impenetrable hide. And I was forced to resort to more unorthodox methods. Some well placed mines near a watering hole were the first step. Their explosion hurting the creature into a dead end. Okay, that's how he killed it. The massive neck it reared back, and so on and so on. Down its gaping more. So he also used the granite trick to uh, blow them up from inside. And he wants to mount the trophy in Devik's uh, room, and this is probably the room. And then he got hired for being able to kill this Rancor. That's probably it. Quest items, equipable items, so you can indeed uh, switch a little bit between everything, but well, this is the Rancor head, so he also killed a Rancor and various other stuff, it seems like. Okay, anyways, let's continue with the action. Open hey, these doors. Hey, what's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, I'll call the guards. Again? Tony Rama Naprata Donka Search. He sleeps with a slave. Hey baby, wait. I wasn't actually going Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night. So you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. <laughs> I just got lost. Uh uh. No way, you're not getting out of this mess that easy. You can explain yourself to the guards if you live long enough for them to question you. Another bounty hunter. They are also aggressive, man. They don't care about your guards. Those were weak guards. Well, what do we got here? Good. Some more loot. And let's continue. This was our room, so... Yeah, where to go next? Um, this is where the Ebonhawk is, so... I guess we continue to the uh, room that we can see. 
and that is open, so let's go here first. There are more guards and droids. You shall fall. Good. Yeah. Yes. That's cure. Sure. Okay. So far, it's uh, not that difficult, but there might be a good boss. Well, unfortunately, we can't use this security terminal. I guess because our hacking is not good enough, so... So, a uh, mine. Yeah. yeah. I hope you can at least... Uh, disable the mine, so you are somewhat useful. What can I do? What? That worked, so some loot container. Okay, then let's continue to the next room. Oh, this was only the supply uh, the the terminal. And we can use this this door or this door down there. Let's use the store here first. Let's see. Okay, this is another long hallway. Connecting. Let's see. Some more guards, okay. What can I do? Uh, cure, please. Good. So this leads to the hunger, actually. So let's uh, continue with the other door first. Yeah. That I should definitely put on the shields. Yes. Yes. That will help to survive a little bit better. Let's try out this door first. So this is like the uh, throne room the slave was talking about, so... Yeah, let's continue here. And another bounty hunter. Didn't see us, so... Wow. Bastila sure is strong. Mm, let's start with this door. Wow. That are some enemies. Let's throw a grenade first. That was a good hit, actually. Uh, let's throw some more. Wow, they are not coming, so... <laughs> that was a nice force push. <laughs> yeah, well, and that went pretty well. Grenades are still useful. Some loot here. Good. Got some credits. Computer pass card. Okay, maybe we can use this. Oh. We found the torture chamber. Come on, guys. Oh. That was hard. A hard hit. So let's cure. Then let's try to beat those droids. Good. Wow, oh, they were tough. What? Now we are out of force points. Not well. 
Uh, cage release. Yeah, let's release him. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. Yeah, I couldn't just sit here and let you suffer, right? Uh, yeah. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible, anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Yeah, sounds great. Maybe we can ask some more questions. Questions? Please. I've already told you the only useful thing I know. Uh, yeah, okay. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm... So... Now we know how to activate... We deactivate for. the shield, so... Get going. Exactly. Now the only thing left is to go to the hangar, I guess, and grab the ship. And while we were talking, Bastila was regenerating her force points, so... That's good. Let's bash in these doors. Then there we can go to the hangar. Well, this doesn't work on this door. Huh? What can I do? Try out some lightsabers. Yeah, this works again. How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until more. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? <laughs> I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. We can try to lie. We can threaten him. Let's threaten him. What? How dare you speak to me like that? I could have to have you. Some people don't learn. Don't work for Davik. Then what? Are you... Plus. Assassins! Guards! Save me! What a noble scumbag. Sure. <laughs> that didn't work, my friend. Some more guards. Take the experience with us. Huh? That worked. Let's cure. And some extra loot. Oh, got a grenade, okay. And some loot boxes. For our trouble. Yeah, some good upgrades. So it's definitely uh, profitable to check these extra rooms. 500 credits. Not bad, not bad. Okay, uh. Oh, still some guards. This is like a guard room or something. Anyways, let's go in there. Oh, there are several guards. Let's throw a grenade. Let's try out a critical strike. That worked too. Made quick work out of them, but they don't have anything to pick up. And okay, this is where we came from, right? There is a lab down here. Let's check out the lab. There is a first aid container. I guess we grab that. It's empty, okay. Uh, let's use a normal med pack. Safe. Never know when a boss is behind a door, right? Okay, nothing here. Just another long hallway. Okay, no enemy here. So this connects back to the room where we were. I think we were in this part before. Yes, exactly. 
So there's only this hunger left now. You can use the excess card now. Disable hunger security. That's where the codes that we uh, just learned from. From the guy in the prison and... Uh, yeah, we don't need the schematics anymore, so... Good, deactivated the shield. Still some remains missing. Oh, 30 credits. Sure. And then I guess this is the hangar or bay door, so... What? I'm here. Let's heal her up and then prepare sure. the Veller and probably a boss fight. Maybe not, but well, should wait a little bit for the force points, I think, and see how quickly they regenerate. But it's one point per second, and she has more fo her force than vitality, actually, so... Three, two, one, let's go. Damn those Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Will he uh, count to three again? Anyways, let's start with the Valor, I think. Good. And then you can use uh, the Burst of Speed. And you should start maybe with the Poison Grenade. Yes. And of course, activate the shield. And then let's try this. Bastila, use your speed afterwards. And let's focus on this Kalo Nord dude. And we have to stay alive. Um, let's buff up. Oh, she's already down. If I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Uh oh. Damn those shit! Now bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Well, that was a quick fight. I want the loot. Come on. Devix war suit. Okay, we use everything. Oh, so we have to actually get out. Our characters are blasted to bits right here. So this is not good. Uh, what? Yeah, I want to get out, but there it is. <laughs> Quickly, guys, run off. Uh, yes, bought the Ebonhawk. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. <laughs> what can we do? The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. But the old man wanted to reach his promised land.
So this planet is uh, Stardust soon. Let's get the heck out of here. Now we have to escape the Sith. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Any coming fighters? Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. The shield has to hold on for now. But we have to beat those uh, enemy ships before they blow us up. Oh. Well, got one at least. So, come on. Where are they? Them. Got one. This is not easy to control. Got another one at least. Come on, you're flying there. Damn you. I have to hit them when they are near. Our health is going down. Want to get another one. Uh, three more, right? Good. This is bad now. Where is the last one? There's the last one. This is dangerous now. This is the last one. It's coming again. Come on, come on, hit him. Good. Dantooine. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. <sighs> Yeah, let's go there. I want to become a Jedi, so... We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of the entire planet. I know Meshun must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. Here we go, to the Jedi Academy. With the good old Star Wars music. I've spoken so. briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? Yes. It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come, they're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Okay. Can't switch characters now, so... Let's go to the Council.
Yeah, we can talk to the uh, guys in here later. For now, just go through the Jedi's. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? <laughs> Let me go to your masters. <laughs> I'm not a Padawan, I'm magics. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. I'm telling the truth. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. So the area seems a little bit glitched again. I hope it still works out recording because I had some issues in the last glitch glitched area. So I hope for the best. And it was to this left. Yeah, let's go there. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. So... What do we choose? Yeah, what do you want from me? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Okay, well, sure. Uh, yeah. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We <laughs> both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Yeah, well, I will give my best, right? Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Okay. Seems like we have another vision right now. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? Hmm. 
eh? The stop forge. This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Okay. I had a rough night. Well, I can't say I blame you. I, I haven't exactly been sleeping well myself. Here, I thought things would get better once we escaped Terrace. Did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you alright? Well, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. It. So now we can choose our party members. Oh. Okay. We can talk to huh? mission. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. Yeah, the planet blew up. I mean, I grew up there, and now it's 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 just gone. Well, Malek will pay for this. Yeah, I know. Jedi got rid of Revan, so I figure Malik's days are number two. But that doesn't make the pain go away, you know? Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just, it's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Great. Well, okay, so we have to go back to the council room. Man, and this place is bucked like hell. But only in one direction. If I look in this direction, everything seems fine, so don't ask me what's up there. But well. Uh, go ahead. ポグラシオニオンバチントンモチュバロダリタクンイタパティソバトカチコンイタダンツイキングノバモレラチコンオッケーうんあいドンハフニュースオフライトタコムジュスタミキオッケーソイフイファインヘアヤ uh, so I could tell you more, okay. Uh, isn't there local authorities, like Jedi's, that could handle this? Hmm, they had more important stuff. Yeah, they must do it themselves, that's correct. Uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye out for the girl, right? Good, so seems like there's a quest in finding this girl. But we have to go to the Jedi Council, right? Okay. Which brings you to this place. Uh, I came here with Bestela. Since she saved you from this planet as well. We work together to escape. May the force be with us, yes. So, let's see. This was the girl we have spoken to before. Then we went left, and that's where the council should be. Exactly in here. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected. If Revan and Malak found something there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have uh, searched something there, like the Starforge. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. Mm, yeah, I trust in your greater wisdom. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force. 
and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us. Together. Yeah, so we are kind of joined, right? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. Well, do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Yeah, sure. Of course. I try my best. I understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. Okay, so Jedi are turning to the dark side? The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue. Some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Yeah, sure. I'm ready now. I accept the mission, right? The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. Okay, yeah, that's what I want. Uh, as you wish, Master Vandar. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon yes, you. Yes, please I train me. I hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. The Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. <laughs> we are fighting with sharp Yet swords. Even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. And your progress, amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Yay! Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. Okay, what must I do to prove myself then? In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. Okay. What kind of tests are these? These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. 
You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Okay, so let's wrap the episode up here and yeah, try to become a Jedi in the next one, right? So thank you for watching, have a great day and till next time, bye bye.